do your prints look like this? Does your FEP look cloudy and are prints sticking to it? Chances are you need to change your FEP. I'm Sean Bobby, the print basher. This is when to change your FEP in three minutes. Fluorinated ethylene propylene or FEP is a transparent film with low surface tension that is affixed to the bottom of the printing vat. It allows UV light to pass through and cure the resin. Over time and repetitive use, the FEP will begin to deform. This is normal. Replacing the FEP is part of routine 3D printer maintenance and needs done every few weeks or months depending on your print volume and success rate. If you don't want to do maintenance on your machine, you should probably consider a different hobby. If the FEP is cloudy, no longer smooth, or has any scratches, the resin will sometimes have a hard time releasing from the FEP when the build plate moves away from it. This will sometimes cause the resin to stick to it, resulting in a failed print. A combination of multiple failures that stick to the FEP, indents and pressure from removing failed prints from the FEP, and of course just regular wear and tear, will cause the FEP to lose its low friction and transparent qualities, at which point it becomes kind of useless and it's time to change it. Let's break that down! So when do you change the FEP? When the FEP is cloudy and white. When the FEP has been damaged by significant scratches, bumps, and divots. Or when the FEP has just become less smooth. You can sometimes get away with having successful prints while having one of these problems. But if you start to get failed prints consistently and you're pretty sure your build plate's level, consider changing your FEP. Now that we know what to look for, let's list what other things can damage the FEP so you know what not to do. Tools, scrapers, and other things used when removing failed prints from the FEP. Sometimes this is unavoidable, just be careful when you're doing it. Paper towels? What? That's right. Particularly scratchy paper towels can ruin the delicate surface of the vat. So when cleaning, I use microfiber cloths. I suggest you do it as well. Three, cured resin that hasn't been removed from the vat. Always clear your vat after a failed print by running the resin through a 190 micron filter. So make sure there's nothing solid floating in the resin while you're trying to print, because that would be bad. Four, pressure from fingers when handling the vat. When handling the vat, hold the sides of it. Try not to put pressure directly on the FEP. Hard enough pressure could warp and dent it. I know sometimes you need to apply some pressure when removing failed prints, so just be careful when you do that. In my experience, FEP problems are one of the major causes of print failures. It's often something that is overlooked and something we as printers can get lazy about because we don't feel like taking the 15 minutes to swap it out. The more you become aware of what's going on with your machine, the less failures you will have. It will make diagnosing your problems, fixing them, so much faster and easier. Trust me, swap your FEP, learn to love doing maintenance on your machine, because you're probably going to be doing it a lot. Come on!